Hi everyone and welcome to the next episode of the Explain series with your host Dr. Kurt Palmer. Uh, this week is going to be about lymphogranuloma venereum, okay, otherwise known as LGV. And that's why we just called it LGV because lymphogranuloma venereum is a little bit of a mouthful. Um, anyway, this is a, um, a, an infection that's effectively caused by a type of uh, chlamydia. And since 2003, uh, we've been getting more outbreaks uh, in Europe and North America and Australasia. Uh, and it's becoming more and more uh, common. Now, it is endemic in Southern Africa, West Africa, Madagascar, India, uh, Caribbean, Southeast Asia. But as time has gone on, it's become more and more uh, common. Uh, and that's uh, more common in people who are high sexually active and also on the party scene or you could say the sex party scene <laughs> I wish um, either way uh, the incubation period of um, uh, chlamydia is between about uh, 3 to 30 days and the first sign can be um, a painless uh, papule or a shallow erosion uh, sometimes it can be the shallow erosion can develop into an ulcer and normally uh, in men it is in the what's called the coronal sulcus or otherwise uh, just underneath uh, the head of the penis or in women it can be around the uh, vagina wall the bottom of the vagina called the facetta uh, region the vulva or even the cervix now you do get lymph nodes now typically this is uh, unilateral just so that means just on one side and the lymph nodes uh, can be uh, uh, quite large um, and they can also be singular or they can be the whole chain. Uh, now the lymph nodes in the groin are called the inguinal nodes but you can also have the femoral nodes and if it's got the inguinal and the femoral nodes together and they become very very enlarged uh, you have the saddle sign so it's one lump here one lump here and a little valley in between and that's just called the saddle sign. Now if you do get that saddle sign that is effectively pathognomonic in other words it's definitely LGV until proven otherwise. Uh, but this saddle sign is only uh, present in around about 20% um, uh, of, of cases. Uh, and generally the saddle sign won't appear until around about 10 to 30 uh, days after uh, the ulcer anyway. And so a lot of the time LGV is caught uh, well, well before then because of other uh, signs and symptoms uh, uh, that come about. Systemic spread is rare, but it does uh, occur and can result in uh, reactive arthritis, uh, pneumonitis, and also perihepatitis as well. Uh, chronic LGV can be mistaken for Crohn's disease, and in my career I've seen three patients who have Crohn's disease. They got a, uh, tested for uh, chlamydia and it came back um, positive for chlamydia and also the LGV type of chlamydia as well. Uh, in terms of diagnosis, uh, you can do um, uh, microscopy and look at pus cells and if there's lots and lots of pus in the rectum that could very well be um, uh, chlamydia but there are also other infections that can cause that as well. The easiest way is to do a NATS test or uh, stroke PCR uh, swab for chlamydia and uh, if it comes back it can be uh, then tested again for um, uh, LGV. The treatment is really simple, doxycycline 100 milligram tablet twice a day for 21 days. If you can't take doxy uh, or if you're uh, pregnant uh, then you can take azithromycin 1 gram uh, straight away once a week for three weeks. Uh, obviously uh, no sex while you're on treatment, all sexual contacts have to be informed to be uh, treated or at least uh, tested. If you don't have symptoms the look back period is three months but if you do have symptomatic LGV uh, the look back period is only about uh, one month or so. You don't need a test of cure to make sure it's gone but if you do want a test of cure make sure you do it two weeks after completion of your treatment otherwise you will be picking up dead chlamydia. Uh, and incidentally, if you when you do go and get treated, make sure you also get treated, uh, get tested for uh, gonorrhea as well as uh, chlamydia and blood tests for syphilis and HIV. In sexual health diseases, tend to follow in pairs, and so it's important uh, you don't have anything else on board as well. Okay, uh, please like and take care, and see you next week. Bye bye.